Welcome back, 3-Minute History viewers. My name is Zach, and before we begin today, I want to say this video is not sponsored, but please hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Let us begin. This book was written by Gordon Carrera, in, and it was published uh, this year, 2020, called Russians Among Us, Sleeper Cells, Ghost Stories, and the Hunt for Putin's Spies. I gotta say, what I really love about this novel is that it reads like an... Um, a fiction, like a great narrative, uh, chapter to chapter. Uh, however, it is a nonfiction book. Everything in here is true. It's a well-sourced book. Um, a lot of the sources coming from actual interviews of uh, former spies and um, agency members, uh, in particular agency members either on the Russian or the American side, um, which really adds to this book and just such a great read. This book reminds me of the show, uh, The Americans, uh, which was about 1980s uh, Russians living in America, posing as Americans, uh, families and all. So you get that level of detail in this book. It's amazing with some of the stories that come out of here of uh, Russian agents uh, blending in as Americans or Canadians or Europeans um, for pretty much their whole lives. Some of the agents are uh, actually dying over here as Americans, having children over here, born and actually technically Americans at that point, uh, despite where their parents came from. Um, you, you get all of that. Um, and the other great thing about this book is too, most of it takes place in the 80s, 90s. You get a little bit of the early 2000s. Uh, most of the book goes up to about 2010, but it still shows how spies are still among us, how this is a serious thing for not, the U for not just the US, but also Russia as well. And you get a better insight into what motivates Putin on his foreign policy, because the book also talks about um, Putin's experience in the former KGB, later the FSB, and his uh, revival of spies and them going more global. What, you wanna pick this book up? Whether you're into uh, you know, spies and all that type of secret of government stuff, does not matter. You get a better sense of some of the US foreign policy through bureaucracy on our side and definitely the Russian side as well. And that's where I'll leave you. As always, keep reading.